Good morning and welcome to St. John United Church of Christ. No matter who you are or where you are on life's journey, you're welcome here. A few announcements before we begin worship this morning. If you happen to be on Facebook Live, we'd appreciate you posting a comment so that we know who all is watching. And you can also say good morning to those who are online and to Eric, who's my We are looking at bringing back liturgists for the service, and at least for August 15th when I will be on vacation and Eric will be off the same week. Sign-up sheet in the Narthex. Also, again, just August 22nd at 3 p.m., we'll be hosting... Lastly, the we still need a couple of people to help us with the distribution of the school supplies next. So if you might have an hour or two available, there is a sign-up sheet. Or maybe it is the 24th. I'll, I'll have to verify that. I think it is the 24th. Let me double check. Our hearts and our minds for a spirit of worship as Carolyn plays for us.
I invite you to rise in body or in spirit as we center our hearts in worship. Sometimes we welcome people to worship as if our worship applies to just this place and just this hour. Yet, Lord, you are everywhere, not just here. You are forever and not just for this time. You are not bound by bricks and mortar or limited in scope and availability by the confines of church traditions and systems. We come into worship, not because it is the only time or place or any way for us to do so, or only the way for us to do so, but because here and now we make time, we make space to greet you, everlasting God, knowing that as you go, you go with us too. We worship you now and always. Let us join together in singing hymn number 16, Let Us With a Joyful Mind, verses 1, 5, and 6 in your hymnals. together and calling upon God. Universal Lord, you are present with us now in this house, and yet you are also present everywhere else. What a wonderful mystery this is. Each day you invite us to marvel at all the wonders of creation and to see you in them all, including the people we meet. As we begin to see you everywhere, may that change our way of responding to the people and situations that come our way. May we learn to love as Jesus loved and care and share all we have as he did. So be it. Amen. You may be seated. young enough people, but maybe you have children you've done this with. But have you ever seen those puzzle pictures that's call, that are called in England they're called Where's Wild. Actually they change the name of the person depending upon what country it is. Well Waldo, in case you haven't seen it, is this it's a cartoon character and it's a guy dressed in a red and white shirt. Red and white stripe. And you have to try to find him somewhere in the picture. And in the books, in the beginning of the book, it's a very simple picture, but as you leaf through the book, each of the pictures gets harder and harder. So when you get to the end of the book, there's lots of red and white striped things on the pages, and it gets harder and harder to find Waldo. It's almost as if Waldo... At least maybe the paintings of them. And these are paintings of three of the church buildings that this congregation has worshipped in. Do you think you can find God in those pictures? 
Well, in the Bible story we're going to hear today, David wants to build a temple for God. But God tells David that God never needed a temple because God is always with the people wherever they are. So in each of these pictures I showed you, God's there. Than God, we are so grateful to have a beautiful sanctuary to come and gather as a community of people and to give you worship. But help us to remember that you are always with us and that one of the purposes of gathering here on Sunday is to remind us of your presence within each and every one of us and to remind us that as we leave here, we take you with us out into the world and in so many different ways, we become your living presence to those around us. Continue to support us, continue to encourage us, and help us to always remember to be your living presence. We pray this in the name of Jesus Christ, in which we lift any special joys or concerns that we may have in our lives or the lives of those we love and care for, or things going on in the world that... Um, maybe tugging at our heartstrings that we'd like to lift in prayer. I'll try to summarize each of those prayers and say, Lord, in your mercy, and ask that you respond, hear our prayer. So are there any special, are there any special joys or concerns this morning that we can lift up? lift up the people of Western Europe, specifically Western Germany and Belgium, in which there is extensive flooding, and I believe there's been about 170 people that they in your mercy. And also for our I read that the number of cases has risen by about Dying are all un 